Well, so hi, Micro Hunter here again. Well, the thing that you see there, that is a cheek cell, an epithelium cell um, from my mouth. Um, but that's not really what I'm really interested in uh, today. I just wanna show you some bacteria that grow in my mouth. And as a matter of fact, if you look carefully, um, there are some of these small, uh, long uh, dots uh, floating around. Some of them are not even dots anymore, but almost lines. And these are bacteria, these are rod-shaped bacteria um, that I found uh, by using uh, toothpicks and scratching some of the plaque off my teeth and putting it on the microscope slide uh, and uh, while doing this I also collected uh, as a byproduct so to say some of those uh, cheek cells and then I also did the following I did not scratch something off using toothpicks but simply took a little bit of saliva and put it directly on the microscope slide and found also plenty of bacteria so in this video I'm just going to show you some of those bacteria that I found in my mouth Actually, it's a very easy source uh, to find uh, bacteria. Many people who are interested in hobby microscopy or amateur microscopy, by the way, that's how I'm preparing the sample now, Many of those people want to see, okay, where can I find bacteria? Well, you don't even have to go very far. All you gotta do is you put some of your own saliva under the microscope, you, as I, you see here, put a drop on the microscope slide, um, and uh, then you simply put a cover glass on top. Um, and that's gonna be enough. Um, of course, you should be a little bit careful that you don't also see some food particles because they can distract a little bit. Uh, but then there are plenty of bacteria, and if you look carefully, not only different shapes and sizes, but some of them actually also move. So that's a nice idea uh, to have those little moving critters in your mouth. Now, what's gonna happen with them when you swallow them? Well, then they're going to end up in your stomach and of course they're going to be digested. Um, and all of the cells uh, of your own uh, cheek uh, that you end up swallowing will also end up to be digested. Um, yeah, now a little bit of a technical background here. Well, that's a nice uh, cheek cell again. Uh, you see the nucleus quite nicely. Um, yeah, the technical background a little bit. Um, again, uh, I'm using here so-called phase contrast microscopy. So that's a slightly more advanced technique. Um, and this technique allows me to see bacteria which are otherwise quite difficult to see. It allows me to see them uh, dark on a brighter background. Um, it allows me, yeah, it allows, the technique allows uh, to enhance contrast, that is. Um, many people who are into amateur microscopy don't have phase contrast microscopes because uh, of the cost issue. Uh, it's still possible to see those bacteria. All you have to do is you have to add a little bit of a methylene blue stain or you close the condenser quite uh, a bit and then uh, you're able to also see the diffraction patterns of the bacteria. So it's possible, not quite as easily possible, but it's possible. In the dark round structure that you see that is a, um, yeah, uh, an, an air bubble that I also uh, caught, unfortunately. No, not unfortunately, really. That it simply happens, uh, it means if you are preparing the specimen too quickly, sometimes you're also catching those air bubbles, and then those places uh, where there's the air, uh, you cannot observe um, quite as well, but then you simply move to a different place, and then you're able to see different parts again. And uh, it's, so air bubbles are not a big problem, but sometimes if they're too big, they cover too much of the specimen. Yeah, again, some of those uh, epithelial cells of my uh, cheek, um, they're quite flat, um, so they're also easily observable. And also those can be stained quite easily with methylene blue. Um, I've made other videos on, on that, which I recommend or which I advise you to watch if you're interested. Yeah, um, one of the things that you might notice is, is that bacteria are, of course, significantly smaller than uh, human body cells. Uh, we know about that. Um, on average, they are around in diameter 10 times smaller than um, a human body cell, so around in the range of one microm micrometer. Many people also want to know what magnification did I use here. Well, it is the total uh, magnification that I used is 400 times. It's not even that much. So it's a 40 times objective that I'm using. Um, and as a matter of fact, most microscopes are able to, um, actually almost all microscopes, compound microscopes are able to provide this magnification. But the problem really is, is the lack of contrast. Um, so that means that uh, if you make it bigger, um, you're not always gonna see more because uh, the bacteria are so transparent that they might be very difficult to see but in phase contrast microscopy here it's much easier so if you're interested in doing that um, yeah do prepare also a specimen slide put a little bit of saliva and some plaque on the slide and completely close the condenser of the microscope and because this increases the contrast significantly and you're also able to see this not quite as, as, uh, as well as with phase contrast but still yeah, there is plenty of other stuff also floating around. Uh, I don't know, some food uh, remains uh, and things like this. Uh, I don't really know uh, very much what it is, uh, but in any case, the mouth is a good source 
Of course, I have to say, or I want to say that rather, a big thank you to all of my supporters. Um, and uh, if you're also interested in supporting, there is more information um, in the description below. And what else am I going to do now? I'm just going to say thank you very much for your support, of course. And uh, if you're interested in videos like this, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help the channel a lot. Uh, it increases the visibility, not only of this channel, but also of amateur and hobby microscopy. Um, if you're interested in getting uh, microscope equipment and you don't know uh, which equipment uh, to get, uh, then I have a second YouTube channel as well, where I'm giving um, a lot of uh, advice uh, purchasing, uh, purchasing advice, hardware advice, um, specimen preparation advice, uh, and all of these things. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye bye.